Hello everybody, today is Monday. I'm still a little bit sick. It sounds a lot worse than it actually is. Um, but today I thought that I would do that college and productivity Q&A that I promised to do a long time ago, but in a form of a get ready with me. So it's a little more entertaining. You have something to put on, you know, while you're getting ready in the morning. So yeah, let's hang out, get ready together, and just chit chat and talk about life. The first thing I need to do is skincare. And I'm using the Declare, Dear Claire's Supple Preparation Facial Torn Toner. Oof, my words. Okay, we're gonna start with this. It's getting really dry and cold here in Davis. And it's been pretty rough on my skin. So I thought that I would start reintroducing some moisture back into my face as, you know, the winter dries it out. And then I have the Innisfree My Lip Balm Homemade Lemon Tea. If you're looking for an, an alternative for the Glossier Balm.com that is more affordable and if you're sensitive to lanolin like I am, like I can't use the Balm.com too often because it dries my lips out and then gives it like kind of a weird gross rash I would highly highly recommend this one and it comes in with like an angle tube applicator and it's a super cute and fun yellow so you know there's no way that you can't um, have a good time while using this anyway productivity Q&A how do I balance school and YouTube? I'm using Trader Joe's tea tree oil to spot treat, by the way. I'm like hella breaking out right now, I don't know why. I think the only reason why I'm able to do YouTube and school is because I'm not really involved in a lot of social activities. I'm not really interested in many clubs. I currently am not doing research or an internship but I definitely feel like if I was, I would be posting less frequently. And I think you've seen that when I'm very busy, my blog is the very first thing to go. And I don't think I've written or published a post on that platform in a while. I'm using the Vanilla Co Deer Hydration Balancing Moisturizer. But yeah, um, I think the only reason why I'm able to do all of this is because I don't have any other obligations. I'm currently, this is my form of work. Fortunately, I'm able to do that. Um, but yeah, I, I really think like that's the main reason why I'm able to do so much. And also, I'm not someone who tends to enjoy going out. So you know, like the typical college experience of partying or going to bars and clubs and all that that's really not for me grandma likes to stay indoors and asleep by the time it's 9 30. um so yeah i think that's the only reason why i'm able to you know balance all that this is the innis free skinny brow mascara in number two i think that this is a pretty all right, alternative for the Glossier, what's it called? A boy brow. I'm trying to find more Glossier alternatives for myself, mostly because it is kind of expensive. And for some reason, a lot of their products, as much as I do enjoy them, their skincare products just aren't really for me. But I do like their lip products quite a lot though. I don't know, I just feel like I'm kind of going out of a Glossier phase right now. I need to change it up, do something else. And then next I'm gonna use the Dear Claire's Creamy Natural and F Creamy and Natural Fit Concealer. My plans after my bachelor's degree. <sighs> that is um, a loaded ass question. I am currently on track to graduate a quarter early, which is kind of scary and overwhelming. But I also, you know, I did this to myself. I chose to take like 16 units every quarter for the next three quarters in order to graduate early. 
Um, so yeah, if I really wanted to, I could have spread it out over one extra quarter, but uh, that's like $5,000 that I didn't want to spend. So currently my plan is to do some UX, UI, UI, UX design, um, which is like app interfaces and stuff. I think that would be like my dream nine to five, but I, I would really, really like to do full-time content creation, which, I mean, I guess that sounds kind of lame. It kind of sounds lame coming out of my own mouth because, you know, I have a degree in something, I guess, practical. Physics, you know, being the least practical of all the practical degrees you can get. I don't know. I just have, I have so many different paths that I could personally go to. I think that if I were to go to grad school for anything, it would be electrical engineering, but I need a freaking break, man, from school. We've been doing this for way too long. So I'm thinking that I might just take like a one or two year break and then maybe do some research or something and then go to grad school. I don't know. Honestly, I have no idea, but I think that I really want to do something, you know, positive and productive with all the opportunities that YouTube has given me. This is the Wouter and Medium, light slash medium, by the way. I know that they updated their color range, um, but I don't know what it is on in the new color shade range because I haven't been on the Glossier website in a while, I'm trying to save money, you know? I feel like I wanna do something productive and positive with all the opportunities that YouTube has given me, but I'm not just, I'm honestly just not quite sure what's gonna happen yet. But I think the most realistic thing for me to do is just do UI UX, because it's that perfect bridge of being artistic and doing graphic design and being STEMI, because in some contexts I would be able to do front end um, or maybe back end development or just iOS development in general. So we shall see. The next question is, how do I deal with stress? I don't think that I'm the best person to give you advice about dealing with stress. This is the Epu Juicy Pung Blusher in RD01. I don't think that I'm the best person to give you advice about how to stress manage because I don't particularly have a good relationship with stress management myself, believe it or not. I am either way too stressed out all the time about tiny things, like tiny petty things that clearly don't matter, like when I'm gonna eat dinner, or I just don't care enough. So like there'll be an exam that I haven't studied for that's in like three hours and I'll be like, it's fine, I can fail this one. Uh, I'll just take the L and I don't think that that's a very healthy relationship to have with stress um, I feel like I should try to find a little more of a balance and you know just accept that stress is a part of my life but what can you do I'm still working on that though I will keep you guys updated if anything decides to change and I be suddenly become a much more, you know, normalized and I guess moderate person. Um, I'm currently using the Ojai Magic Hour palette and I'm using Moonlight here and just putting it all over my lids. But yeah, um, stress has always been something that is really a lot for me. And definitely if I were to compare myself now, to who I was even six months ago, I am a way more chilled out person. I think the biggest thing to help me relax and like accept that things are the way that they are and you can't really change it is to kind of just like stop giving a shit. And then I'm going to use a mixture of nectar and stargaze to Kind of like give myself a fake cat eye situation for me yeah it was just like not caring so much about the little things and 
accepting that things are the way that they are, what can you do? You know, you can't actually do anything, sorry. The only thing that you can do is choose how to react to the cards thrown at you into the universe. And I think that now I'm choosing to not get so worked up because what is there to be worked up about? <clears throat> Ooh, sorry, my camera cut out there. Um, yeah, I was talking to my TA for my device physics class and I did a lot worse in my midterm than I thought that I was going to. And um, for some reason I was just feeling so overwhelmed that day and I guess I haven't had a good cry in a while. So I like just started sobbing in front of him. He was like, yeah, go ahead and cry and honor your feelings because um, that's important. Everyone should, you know, take the time to feel and that's like a healthy normal part of the human experience and I'm like amen I'm all about that I cry all the time I'm a Pisces and um, he said one really important thing to me and he was like you have to keep in mind though that although this may seem important now it's just one exam one exam isn't going to prevent you from going to grad school one exam isn't going to prevent you from graduating one exam isn't going to be the make or break of the rest of your life and you know i'm sure that the practical part of me the one that wasn't you know crying understood that and now i'm using siren by the way um just wanted to accentuate a little bit i'm feeling a little spicy today um but yeah i'm sure that the practical normal non-sobbing side of me understood that but at that moment, I just like was so upset that I couldn't grasp that. And I think that it's important to remember that one bad day does not mean the rest of your life is bad. It just means that that one day is bad. And one exam or one semester or one quarter or just one thing is not going to ruin the rest of your life. You will be okay. And that is the biggest lesson that I learned from going to my TA's office hours so far this quarter. I'm using Pixie as an under the brow highlighter. And I really like this shade. It's a kind of pinky and pearlescent. And this is generally way more makeup than I put on a day-to-day -day basis, but I'm currently filming a productive day with me video and I'm the kind of person that if I don't you know dress up real nice and put on a whole face of makeup then I won't be productive and I'll just be the world's laziest slob so yeah Oof, I need to d deal with this hair I think that's it for me today this was really fun let me know if this was something that you enjoyed um, but yeah, that's it for me today. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry about my disaster zone of a hair. I didn't put product in last night when I washed it, so we're just gonna deal with like crappy BS hair today. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hoped that this college Q&A and this productivity Q&A was remotely interesting or helpful to you. Um, yeah, if you want more of these like talk with me ugh, and get ready with me these chatty get ready with me is where there's like a theme let me know because i feel like this would be something that i would want to do more often what do you want me to talk about let me know anyway that's it for me today thank you for watching i'm gonna go get back to having a productive day with unlimited willpower and limited energy so yeah i'll see you guys next time adios